Hey everyone, here in my shop with the new DTG machine that I've recently designed and built. Just wanted to shoot a review of it real quick for you guys. And also, we will print something on it at the end. So let's get to it. I haven't designed the top housing yet. Everything is exposed for now so you guys can see all the details. As I mentioned in one of my shorts, the machine is based on A2 Epson 3880. Very reliable model, a real workhorse. I have only one table here for now with the size of 23 by 60 inches. Tables designed to be interchangeable, based on four magnets and centering pins. Seems like working pretty good, but time will tell on the long term. I've decided to go hoopless by applying anti-slip tape on top of the table. Found it in a dollar store the other day. Works pretty good, no issues so far. It does auto laser leveling as well. It actually has two options. Here is the first one, long press back. This one is mostly suitable for printing on t-shirts and other garments. The other option, long press print, is good for smaller objects and can be used, for example, on UV printers. I've also implemented some real rubber dampers for the stepper motor as well as 3 to 1 belt reduction. It has significantly reduced noise of the machine. It's so comfortable to work on it without that constant hammering. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Here on the back, I've made a two-story shelves. First one has all the printer's electronics on it, mini ASF module, etc. On top here, I have ink bottles and custom-made control panel. On the right side here is the waste tank chip in a tiny custom housing, as well as the capping release controller board. On the left side, I have a 12 volt power supply for the base itself. Down here inside, I've put all the electronics of the base, main controller, stepper drivers. The cherry on the cake is a custom ink delivery system. As you can see guys, I've completely removed the original system. No cartridges in front and no old dampers set anymore. I wanted to use DX5 dampers so bad that I challenged myself to make it happen, no matter what. It took me many, many hours of trial and error, but I finally did it and couldn't be happier. Currently, I've set it up as dual color, but white ink is on the way. Can't wait to try it on black t-shirts. Finally, my favorite thing is the automatic capping station control system. You press a button, it unlocks. Press again, it locks back. You press, it flows ink or cleaning solution through the print head. You want to flush the capping station? It can do it as well. Honestly, I can't imagine myself doing DTG without it anymore. It's so convenient and satisfying that the maintenance became the most fun process for me. All right, guys, let's print something and see how it does. I haven't fast forwarded the footage so you can see the actual speed of printing 23 by 16 inch size print.
so it took four and a half minutes to complete at 1440 by 720 resolution, which is not bad at all, considering the size of the print. And the result is pretty amazing. Colors are pretty accurate, maybe just a little bit oversaturated because of the phone camera. I used Gildan Heavy Cotton T-shirt without pretreatment and Acrorip with 35% of ink amount, then pressed at 130C for 30 seconds. What you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.